Hi, everybody. You will probably notice what's sitting in front of me here. This is a Coleco Atom. I had a member of the Retro Gamers Club send me two Coleco Atoms. One was his uncle's that wasn't working. And this other one he found. He asked me, can I fix his uncle's, make it work again, and I can keep this one here for myself to do what I want to it. So I did. Oh, it came with a little note too. Um, barn find. Cluck, cluck, moo, farm fresh. This is covered in something, hence the gloves. This is covered in, I, I don't know what it is. I would almost want to hazard a guess, liquid manure. It doesn't stink. I don't smell it. But look at this. Ew. Ew, it's dirty. It's a filthy mess. It's a dirty beast. And it's, uh, it's like that all over. So we're going to take it to the table. And we're going to strip it down and see what we can do with it. Be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more like this. So here we are at the table with this filthy thing. And just so you can get a better look at what this thing said. Barn fine cluck cluck moo farm fresh. And that's a cow and a chicken. And I don't think this is like gonna make me sick. But the issue is when you take these apart, there's little things that can cut and scratch your skin. And I don't know what this is and I don't want it in me. So as you can tell, this is a filthy little beast. So you got that and then how thick that is. Then you got the actual system itself. I, look, look, look at look at the bottom. Ew, gross. So what we're gonna do before I even attempt to work it is I'm gonna strip this thing down to its component parts and scrub the shit out of it. Well, maybe I'm literally gonna scrub the shit out of it, and then we'll see if it works after the fact. So, first off, we'll set that one over to the side, let it ferment a little, and I'm just gonna take these apart here. So as I strip these things down, I'm just going to throw the parts in this little extra coffee cup I got here. So let's get seated and let's tear it apart. Now, like I said, I'm not even going to bother to test and see if this thing works yet until it's clean. There's a good chance it will work. I mean, surprisingly, these computer, these atom systems are very well made to a certain extent. Don't get started on the tape drives or the video memory. But, yeah, so we're gonna, yeah, she's gonna get some major cleaning here. I'm just gonna, I'm not even gonna bother to worry if things work or not work. It's just getting pulled apart. So I just pull the key pads up, pull all that up. I'm just going to, yeah, I'm gonna be scrubbing. So I will, yeah, let me, I was, Debating if I want to take the actual cable off, but that cable needs to be soaked in water. So, what I'm going to do is, because you can't get the cable out, you have to, uh, the Atom controllers, you can just take, sometimes they slide off, sometimes you got to take a piece of metal or something like that to push against them. But just pull them out. Now, when I put them back on, I will probably end up having to solder them in place because they're not like a use again when you put them on the second time. And that's what I mean by, see all these little pieces of things? They poke your skin and you don't normally notice it, but when you're dealing with God knows what here, it's probably a good idea to have some kind of protection. You never know what you might end up with. I won't say it's monkey pox or anything like that, but it's, it could get you sick. All right, so let's just strip this thing down. This is probably going to be a multi-part video because it's going to take a lot of cleaning to attempt to bring this thing back to life. At least make it... Oh, God damn. Excuse my, my guarding. But look at this stuff. That's disgusting. I, I, I really... I mean, it's not dirt. It is not dirt. That is... And it don't stink. But when I used to live up in New York, I was riding my bike a lot. Now I'm going to digress here while I'm taking this apart, but when I used to live up in New York, I used to ride my bicycle a lot in the back roads in the country, and there's a whole bunch of dairy farms up there and regular farm farms where they grow vegetables and stuff. And do you know, well you probably don't know, but maybe you do know, at dairy farms the cows like to poop a lot. They take dumps everywhere. 
and they take dumps when they're when they um get milked, and they get milked in a pretty clean place. It's it's big um cement floors. It, 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 it basically it's a milk factory, and they're taking dumps, and they hose that place down really good after each cow comes through. They got they got to keep it clean. Obviously, if you're gonna drink the milk, you got to keep it clean. Otherwise, you're gonna end up with E. coli or whatever else is gonna come out of there. So, um, anyways, they hose that stuff down. And what do they do with that water? Well, they don't just let it run into a drain, because first off, it could probably make you sick. But that water is valuable. Valuable, you ask? Well, yeah, because it's got it's got cow shit in it, and a lot of water too, and other stuff. I mean, straw, things like that. So they catch that water. They pump it into these giant trucks that look like the trucks that carry around kerosene and stuff. They pump it to, to, into them. And trailers, not trucks, but trailers. With giant tanks on them. And then they um, go out to the farms and they spray it on the food that's growing. And that's why people eat lettuce and they get E. coli. And it's like, oh my god, I got sick of E. coli. You know why you got E. coli? Because they sprayed liquid cow shit on that, and you didn't bother to rinse it off first. That's why you got E. coli. But anyways, what I, where I was going with is, when I'm out riding my bicycle up there, i am be following along behind those trucks. Sometimes, I go down the road and there's one of these trucks in front of me. And they stink. I mean, they stink to the point where you can throw. I mean, you can hurl and get sick from the smell of those things. And, yeah, disgusting. But this doesn't stink, so I don't know. All right, I'm going to take these and throw these in the soapy water, and then I'll strip that one down. All right, so clean it up here. Those are soaking. I did not put these in water because I don't want to get water inside of them. So what I'm going to do with these guys is I'm just going to spray them down here and get them cleaned off real quick. So if I soak them in there, you can get water up behind this pad here. And it probably won't hurt it, but yeah. Again, I haven't tested these, so I don't want to cause any kind of issue that could cause it to not work later. Look at that. See that tarnish? I may end up having to trim the ends off just to get that out. So let's just see what we got here. These are some really clean systems. Aren't they? Yeah. Ooh, lovely. Alright. They'll, they'll, they'll clean up. It's disgusting, though. And watch this thing. Watch when I take this thing apart and clean it and put it all back together. Watch every single thing work perfectly. Oh, then again, watch it not work at all. Just get black screen and nothing. It can go both ways. <laughs> it's a swinger. But yeah, this is this is a mess and it's disgusting. But and now this is why in my other videos I say I take these things apart and clean them because you never know what you got. I mean seriously, yeah, it's right here. I could have I could have done the old Windex on the outside and been done with it, and then it's like, ooh, look, it's all clean, and yeah, you don't know what the heck's inside that thing. So those right there. Too. Now, let's get the Windex out of the way here. And these, these, I will probably not gonna do anything but just use contact cleaner on them. Now here comes the fun stuff. Ooh yeah, look at this. Ooh baby. Ew. Let's, let's, let's try a little test here. If I was the... And, and I'm not going to do it like that. The whole thing, but let's just see. Let's do a little bit of Windex. Will it get it off? Will it clean off easily? Oh, so it's going to clean off. Maybe this protected it so that it didn't turn yellow and I don't have to retrobrite it, huh? All right, so let's pop this open. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, that, that had... Wait, think about this. Look at it. Look at it. I want to show you this. Now, this, this is... <coughs> I can still smell it now. Something sprayed in there. Now, I want you to imagine, I mean, I'm just being creative. I don't think it was a cow. But imagine it was a cow. Psst. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm about to tickle. So, yeah, obviously, somebody's been in here before. They sent it to me. I do believe um, the guy who sent me this said that he went in and he swapped out one of the boards that wasn't working. So, if he took the board out that wasn't working so and put the other one in here, I do know it's not going to work. I just realized that. Duh. Well, we're going to clean it. We're going to fix it. And, ooh, that, that frosted glass effect. Look at that. See, you can't you can see through. Beautiful. Love it. Love it. Yeah, this this is going to take some major cleaning. This, this is a project all by itself. 
if it even works when it's done. Wait, is the well the index wheel's not melted, so it may be salvageable. This right here, yeah, that's disgusting. What's even more disgusting is you can't get inside there too easily to get out that. It appears to be a spider. And this right here, so the screws been pulling off that. That's good. Oh really? Well, he took his screws off too. Well, I didn't need to use a screwdriver then. That's cool. Let's see what we got here. Oh. Gross. Disgusting. Can I say gross again? I think I said gross enough. Ew. 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 Throw it on the floor. I'm running out of places to put this stuff. You guys come off. Put this on the floor. They're going to go in the sink with all the other soapy stuff. I'm pretty sure that dish soap is going to be like, I, I'm out of my league. Yeah, see this, this he said he removed the board and put another one in here. So this board doesn't count. Hmm. Fascinating. So, it's, this one's been patched before. And that looks familiar. It's almost like that was something that I did once. Because I had to fix a board that was broken like that. I wonder if this is it. No, I would have remembered those things. What the? What the heck is that shit? Look at these capacitor after capacitor. These are on the, uh, I don't know, on those chips. Yeah, so it looks like we're probably going to put a new board on here. This, this one is a different kind of board. I've never seen this style. I've never seen these board, uh, an Atom game board. Yeah, this isn't me then, because I would have recognized this. An Atom game board with an RF shield on top of here and soldered down. I have never seen anything like that. So this one's a little special. This one's special. Yeah, and it's, it's a mess, too. Look at this. So let's just, let's just stop talking and take some screws out. One screw. Hey, he didn't send... Yeah, when he took it apart, he didn't get the bottom done. He didn't... Wow, this one has been... Oh, look at the heck. What the heck has happened to this board? Yeah, I've definitely not seen this one. Look at all the stuff that's been done to it. You're interesting just to figure out what the heck you got done to it. All right, any of you Adam geeks out there like me, shit. You don't solder things together, whoever did this one. Any of you Adam geeks out there, oh, God damn. This thing has been, oh, has it been, look at this shit everywhere. I mean, how many fixes are on here? Look at it. Each one of these has a capacitor across the top. Why? I don't know. All right. Then you have patches there. You have these wire patches, these patches here, these patches there. An RF shield. I've never seen an RF shield over the controllers. And then when you flip it over, it's all patched up again in the back. These are not factory repairs. And then this. What the heck? This is interesting just for... The Sega, what the heck did they do to fix it? Or what were they trying to fix? Ew. Alright, so, you, can I get you just to come off? Thank you. Get this out of the way. Hey, I'm, I'm missing a RF shield. I'm missing the bottom RF shield there, too. What the heck? Alright. Anyhow. Sorry about the noise. That probably will never work, but it's fascinating. I got others that I can fix and put in here. Now the bottom, as you can see, is, oh god, yuck! It's a mess. Let's take this out too. We're just gonna get down to the plastics and go from there. It's almost lunchtime too. What did I bring for lunch? Pizza. Good, good. I was thinking, don't be anything brown. Not after this. Ooh, you want some chocolate? No, I don't want no chocolate. Yeah, listen to me. Anyways, you. This is gonna be a multi-parter. I'm pretty sure of it. Part one, gross everybody out. Part two, put it back together. Well, part two, does it work? Possible part three, fix what didn't work. Part four, put it back together. Or, part four would be, yeah, guys, I can't finish this because I'm really sick. It got to me. Oh, God. Oh. Should I throw some hurling sound effects in here just for gets and shingles? Probably not, but I could. I'm late. Get a laugh tracks going in the background. Yeah, I can do that. All right, so here we are inside. Nice thing is all these are socketed, and your RAM chips aren't. 
Now look at the mixture of RAM chips. Has this one been repaired? It looks like those may not be the original RAM chips. All right, so to get these out here, we take, this is clipped in here, just so you know. To get them out, just take a screwdriver and just twist that little, bend that little clip sideways a little bit till they pop out. Sometimes, like this one here, they're covered in hot glue because Coleco and their wisdom said, you know what, it doesn't want to click on there. Let's put some hot glue on it. Coleco love their hot glue, as you can see everywhere. And I call, see, and then it breaks. See that? See that shit? Yeah. Then it breaks off. But I, I call it hot glue. It might have been some industrial stuff that they use. It might have been earwax. Who knows? But Coleco love their hot glue. And I try to stay true to form. And when I repair these things, I use hot glue. When I put a controller back together and I want to make the wires not move around, I, I put a bunch of hot glue on it. I'm just sticking with the status quo, so to speak. And that way, 50 years from now, somebody pulls the parts and says, oh, they look, they use hot glue to fix this. And they won't know that it was me that fixed it. So here we go. Now, I want to see why, besides all, all these wires, if you ever seen an atom getting repaired and you wonder, what are all these wires? stickers it's quality control everywhere or quality not control all these wires are to fix the fact that they forgot to put traces on the boards or they put bad traces on the boards so anyways let's flip this over here it looks like all the original solders there all the original solder joints so which is fascinating that they have four ram chips by one company and then for MIT or MT or whatever M chips or whatever this one is here by another company. And I've seen people do this and I've never bothered to look, but let's just see if I can find some date codes on these things. Hey, train's going by. So this looks like 1981, 40th week of 1981. These are all obviously 1984s. Well, that's a 1983, that's a 1984, that's a 1983. That's a different wrong. Look at that. Wow, the train's usually not that loud out there. That's surprising. An AMI chip. This is the uh, memory manager. And these are the 6801s. This one right here runs the AtomNet. This one runs the, di the data drives. And let's see. I don't see any like date codes on any of the RAM chips. Well, these might be 8332 which would make them the 32nd week of 1983, which fits in the time period. But look at every Coleco like just bought whatever they could buy cheap. But this is a mess. It's dirty. Hey, look at what I found here. This is an obvious. See that blown up tantalum right there? Can you see it? Can you see that? The tantalum blown up and it almost took out the capacitor next to it. So this obviously has got to be fixed before we go any further. They blow up. They like to pop. These little yellow tantalums like to pop. And then when they pop... If you can't see that they blew up, and you're like, why doesn't my board work anymore? But yeah, that one blew up. So that's a repairer. I can pop that thing out, put a new one in. I got plenty of those. Somewhere. Yeah, I'll find it. Anyway, so that's that. Interesting. Oh, uh, let's put this over here. Yeah, it's, it's catching on my gloves and tearing on them a little bit, which we imagine what it would be doing to my skin and getting all the goodies inside of my skin. I don't know who AEL was, but he's everywhere. Okay, so that's what we got to... Ew, God, you're, you're gross. There we go. I'm going to go throw these in the water now. And a quick peek of what's going on here. This is where I'm making the... cow poop, whatever it is, stew. <laughs> but yeah, that's kind of gross. But it's in there, it's just with all disc soap, which may be out of its league. This is all the plastic parts. The metal shields I didn't put in there, those I will wash out separately. Because these are going to soak all weekend. And that way I don't have to try to scrub them that much to get them out. That's great. Right. 